Have you ever felt so trapped inside of your mind that it felt like hell? Not that any of us watching has actually been there before physically, but we can assume what it would feel like. And maybe you're there right now. Maybe you just went through a breakup or a divorce. Maybe you just lost someone or something, or perhaps you just can't let go of something that happened in the past, right? And whatever it may be, you know, there's some negative emotions in general that you would like to remove or at least to prevent from happening. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my favorite meditation for anxiety and stress and just for any negative emotions in general. I will teach you how I've gotten myself out of hell many times and at the end of this video, I will link you to a 15 minute guided meditation that will help you do all of this. I want to make it very clear that this is not the only way to deal with anxiety or stress. You know, there are many avenues that we all can take. Some like to go on walks and exercises. Some like to, you know, journal and write. I have tried all of them, but what has been the most powerful and effective for me has always been sitting down and going within, and that's meditation. The best way to defeat your demons isn't by occupying your mind with other tasks. It's about like actually going directly to the source that's creating your negative emotions and dealing with it head on. And I will also say that this is not a one-time cure. You know, you don't just meditate once and then you're all sunshine and rainbows, right? Meditation is medicine. And depending on the depth of your pain, the depth of where you're at, you might need more than others. Just like, you know, if an obese person were to go to the gym, they shouldn't expect one day of exercise and diet to remove 10 years of bad habits. However, 99% of the time, they will always feel better after the exercise than before. And that's my goal for you with the meditations. You know, the relief can also be instant. This is what meditation can really do for you. But before we move on to the guided meditation, there are three quick, important things that you must know. Understanding these three things will make the meditations even more effective because you actually understand, you know, the one, the mechanics and two, the foundations behind it. So let's begin. Number one, how do we even get into hell, right? This happens when we get triggered by the past, present or future. Right. So if you're depressed, it's because you're holding on to something from the past. If you feel anxiety, it's because you're afraid of something you know, happening in the future and whatever it may be. All these things get us stuck in our head. If we don't learn how to release and let these things go, they can marinate and build up negative energy in our spirits. And that's something that you do not want. Right. It's just like our bodies when we eat too much junk or sugar, our body builds up fat over time. Now, imagine that for your mind. Right. Many people focus on diets. But what about the diet for the mind? Now, I want to make it clear that negative emotions are not the end of the world either. We are all humans. They are designed to protect us from danger. But listen to what I'm about to say next. Negative emotions are simply signs for you to take action. So do not be afraid when it appears. Instead, I encourage you and I invite you to be courageous, to be encouraged, you know? And the second thing that I want to bring up is, what if, I, what if I'm always in hell? Well, have you ever seen somebody in a toxic relationship before? You know, it could have been a friend or someone close. And if you notice the patterns over time that, you know, that they the longer that they stayed in that toxic relationship, they started to dim their light. They became more pessimistic and settled for less, to be quite honest. And they could become bitter, distant. And this is what, what it's like if you were to allow yourself to always hang out in hell, right? What's worse is that if you are in that place, you know, in the beginning, you won't even notice much of a difference, but over time you burn yourself more and more. Here's the thing. You don't die from burning one small time, but you will die from burning a thousand small times. Do not normalize the state. You must do all you can to get higher to, you know, to higher ground. And if you are constantly living in a state of survival, all your energy will go towards fear. And, you know, it will not only weaken your, your mind, but your body will be weakened as well. You'll be more susceptible to illness, disease. You know, I'm not going to go too deep into that right now, but like you either, you, you are either living in a place of survival or a place of creation. Okay. And the third and final thing is how to get out. How do you get out of hell? You know, obviously I've already shared that the method that I use to get out of hell is meditation. However, knowing isn't good enough. You must learn to apply and actually become. And like I said in my previous video, you need commitment to start, but you also need consistency to continue, to actually finish, right? Repetition will help you stay out of hell or at the very least teach you how to get faster every time you dip in 
to hell. Don't just meditate when you're feeling down. I believe you should meditate when you're feeling up, right? Even when you feel good. The whole message of this video is to get you to understand the consequences of staying in hell. What we've learned today is how we get into hell and what will happen if we stay there. Don't settle for hell. I encourage you to get out. And I hope this clarifies everything. So let's move on to the meditation now, all right? I've linked the guided meditation above. All you gotta do is just click this link right here or here, but I think it's gonna be right here and it'll take you right there, okay? If this video was helpful for you and you want to, you know, you want more, make sure you like, subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Comment on the meditation video uh, like right up here after you've finished it and let me know like how it was for you. I'd love to hear. My name's Quan the Alchemist and I'll see you guys on the other side. Enjoy.